I've seen someone who was demonetized after three months she reapplied she was still flagged and she had to stay for six months in fact on the sixth month she reapplied they still demonetized and acted to wait for another three months that was almost nine months and she still she appealed she appealed that situation and luckily for her she was allowed access to be monetized again <music> hi 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 welcome back to my channel i am the Arab lifestyle meanwhile before i forget my name is Ichoma. so welcome back to my channel guys something happened for the past three months it's been a sober situation for me because my channel got demonetized the past three months hasn't been a good one for me and my channel I, you guys remember that in sometime in march late march i posted a video on how i got monetized on youtube and i was super super happy because i know what it took me to get monetized on youtube i know the tactics i used to achieve my 4000 watch hours the monetization i mean is my ability to earn from um page ads earlier on i've been monetized to earn from stickers super chats with 3,000 watch hours and 500 subscribers, but I needed to hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. I know what it took me for three dedicated months from January to March to achieve that feat. And guys, just five days after my monetization, I got demonetized. So I went into my sober mood. I decided I was not going to post on YouTube until I resolved the monetization issues. I actually got monetized on the 23rd of March. Yes, 23rd of March. So five days later, which was the 28th of March, I was asked, I was I got a mail saying that I have been demonetized, that my my videos do not follow the YouTube policies, the community guideline policies. And what was the policy that I flaunted? They said I had reused content. And I checked my long videos. I didn't see any place I reused content. And I knew it was going to come from my short videos because I knew I achieved that monetization feat through my short videos. Yes. I actually posted, you know, you are allowed to post up to 40 shots per day. So I maximized that using trending sounds to achieve that feat. Before I was able to get monetized, I was having about a million views. And I achieved that through my shots. So the tactics I used was that I was using trending sounds from a particular YouTuber in asia i use the strength and sound because i watched the metrics of his videos and i saw that his videos his she he does more of shots and his videos had high views when i say high views i mean in millions two three four five ten up to 15 million views so i decided to because there was a button where you can either cut the video remix the video use the sound so I, I used those three metrics to achieve that. And because his videos or his sounds were trending or his sounds had high views, me that was remixing, me that was using the same sound had a higher chance of also getting high views. So I was getting views in terms of 10,000, 15,000, 20,000. And that added to the views I got from my long form video. And that was how I was able to achieve my 4,000 watch hours. So after five days, I got a mail saying that I have been demonetized. Guys, I went into my shell. It was such a painful thing because after working so hard and not just the penalty or the consequence of that action is that I am going to remain demonetized for the next 90 days. That is after three solid months. After three solid months, you're going to have the chance to reapply for monetization. And if you meet their criteria, they're going to scan through your videos, your channel. And if you meet the criteria, they're going to give you back the rights to monetize your videos. And if you don't meet that, you're going to remain demonetized. I've seen someone who was demonetized. After three months, she reapplied. She was still flagged. 
and she had to stay for six months. In fact, on the sixth month, she reapplied. They still demonetized and asked her to wait for another three months. That was almost nine months, and she still she appealed. She appealed that situation, and luckily for her, she was allowed access to be monetized again. So, what I'm sharing is that I have decided to change the way or the approach through which I do things here on this channel because the initial approach I use, it has its pros and cons. The pros is that you're going to achieve your watch time. However, the cons is that you are likely to get subscribers that are not from your region. Yes, I have a lot of subscribers. I am at 19,300 subscribers and majority of them, a higher percentage, are not African subscribers. And the disadvantage of this is that some of them do not understand English. Some of them have the local languages. They speak and write. So most of videos, because many um, in fact, all countries in Africa, not all, sorry, many countries in Africa have lingua franca as their national language. So aside than their local languages, they have lingua franca as a recognized language. And many educated people can speak and write English fluently except the francophone countries which are not so much compared to the english speaking countries so guys the disadvantage of using this method is that you're going to get subscribers that are not from your region another disadvantage is that they may not be able to understand your long form videos especially when you are transcribing or when your captions are in english or when you are speaking english as a way of describing it Another disadvantage is that when they are commenting, they're not going to comment in English. They comment in their own local language, sometimes Arabic and sometimes in whether it's Chinese, sometimes in Spanish, depending on the area they come from, and you are not able to understand this. So it's more like a, a flux. People are commenting and some other people are not understanding. So I made a big a decision to go back to the drawing board. I am not going to, I'm still going to retain this channel, but I'm going to change the way I do things here on this channel so that I can be able to attract English speaking subscribers because English is my national language. English speaking, English is language that I speak here in Nigeria. I'm a Nigerian, I reside in Nigeria and I shoot my videos, I drop my content from Nigeria. So when I say going back to the drawing board, I'm going to do things differently. Moving forward, I am going to stop using that method that I use, which is using audios from or using sounds or trending sounds or music from fellow YouTubers who are not from my region because their followers are most likely to come from their region. If, for instance, the odd trending audio I've been using is someone who is a Nigerian, his or subscribers are most likely to come from Nigeria and Africa at large. Many of the subscribers will come from Africa and at large, even if the Africans residing outside Africa and they understand English. So when they comment on your post, they're talking in English. I thank God uh, after three months, which is on the 30th of June, I was able to clear those videos out of my, my shorts because they were up to 2,500 videos and I cleared them, it was meaning about 200 and 60 or thereabouts so i cleared them and i reapplied for monetization and luckily for me in less than 24 hours in about 16 hours i was able to get back my monetization and i thank god for that so moving forward i'm going to do things differently to attract subscribers that are most likely to understand me have same vibe with me and you know understand better what i do here on this channel we can be able to communicate on this channel moving forward Thank you for sticking by. Please, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. I would like to see comments in English on this channel.